A big hello and welcome to all the Planner Moms, Glam Moms and all my subscribers. Hope each one of you are doing well. I am well and hope the same for each one of you. So today I am coming on to you with a quick uh, review for God of Ruin. God of Ruin is the fourth book in the uh, Legacy of God series by Rena Kent. I have read all the four, the previous four, uh, previous three books and I have already shared the review. And uh, this book for me, out of the four, this is my favorite. I love the story. This is a story between London, the brother for Glyndon, the god of malice, main actress, and also of um, uh, this uh, Mia. She is the sister of Nicola and uh, Maya. So we meet both of these characters in God of Malice. In, uh, when they meet first time when he ruins the car for uh, the Killian, the first book hero. Anyways, to cut the story, so let's talk about them. The good thing about Rena Kent books are if you're reading the story, they are all friends and family, and then you feel like you know them very well. And her books, they are not small pages; they're 500 pages books, and you read them. For me, this book has been my top favorite. I give it a five star, and I finished it in two nights. It was such a good story. I loved the way Landon is. He's a psychopath. He's a typical villain. A Bad boy, he does only bad things. He likes chaos, he likes to fight, he is like typical chaotic kind of a guy. And Mia, she is a selective mute, she cannot talk because she had a very traumatic past. There was some kidnapping. This video will not have any spoilers, so which has made in her into this uh, mute person. And uh, sh uh, Nicola is the brother for her. And uh, if uh, we have read previous books, so he, uh, Brendan, uh, this, this, uh, London has a lot of terrible things to all of these people so everybody hates him and Mia also wants to take a revenge on him so she and him they are like she starts cornering him and then he starts ke keeping an eye on her and he starts really being obsessed with her he calls her her muse there is he uh, t like you know he's so caring they, you know all these characters all these guys are so fucked up but but that being said, the villains, when they love, they love passionately. They are possessive. They are totally primal. The way they care for the girl. It's, of course, it's a dark romance. So it's definitely, you'll have kinky sex and all that. Definitely. So please, 18 plus before they not read this book, this whole Rena Ken's world. But after that, you can enjoy. It's like an escapism. You will not find these characters. But London is one such guy, though he's done such shit things before. But somehow I like his character a lot. And I was, after I read God of Malice, I definitely wanted to go and read his book. But now, uh, carrying on with the story, Mia develops that human part in him she gets the feelings back to him that he starts feeling a little becoming a better person to his siblings as well so this book really touched me and i really enjoyed it touched me means it's fun read basically but uh, of all the four books this london and mia story is my favorite the experience mia had only the end it was a little very shocking i had never guessed why it happened it became a little bit uh, how how come that person did this to her you know i don't want to give any spoilers but it was a little like i expected something more out of it yeah but it was pretty okay but if that's the thing it is a thriller it's it's a suspense who's this person who did her did this to mia yeah so we don't find out about it till the end you know at the end only we find out about it but it's okay uh, that was still good plot there's always a plot twist so now next book is a it's a gay romance it's between jeremy and uh, mia's brother nicola which is a very nice one also but i would be reading that book at the end the last book because i want to first finish god of war which is between uh, these two characters uh what's this person's name um uh, i think uh, the ava and uh, uh the big eldest Ellie, the eldest of the uh, King family guy. So that will be a good book to read as well. But this book highly recommended. The storyline is amazing. The cures he creates, he's all into like you know shitty stuff only for people. But when he falls in love with her, he he himself is a very good. He makes uh, good statues and all. He's an artist, you know. He's a very good artist, and how she 
uh, sees i mean he sees her as a muse so she inspires him to do things out of the way and he in turn makes her forget fear to fight her fear to try talking you know the first thing she says is london which will be which you will read and i love this story a lot so i give it a five star do give it runa kentis uh, definitely it's been 3 weeks for we have read four books so definitely that really shows that how much i'm enjoying these all right thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos stay blessed take care